this is um second peter chapter 1 and 19 we have also a more sure word of prophecy whereunto ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star arise in your heart First and foremost, I would like to say Barakatai Hawa, Barakatai Hawa Shai, Barakatai Hawa, Barakatai Hawa Shai, Barakatai Hawa, Barakatai Hawa, Barakatai Hawa Shai. Yahawa be the name of the Heavenly Father, which means He to be, He exists, Bahashem, in the name Yahawa Shai, the name of His only begotten Son, who the Holy Ghost calls Lord and Jesus Christ. Alright, Second Peter 1 and 19 again, it says we have also a more sure word. Of prophecy right we have that sure word of prophecy and the prophecy is what that our lord and savior how shy is going to come to deliver us from what this hell this oppression right this terrible time time no better known as what jacob's trouble you know everything is what volatile at this time and going to the going to what going going to the dogs as they say dogs being heathen all right, all these draconian measures being passed. All right, sure they call it what safe zones. All right, they cannot go out into the public if you're caught into or patronizing certain facilities in the public for entertainment, etc. You're going to be charged hefty fines if you're not maxed and or juiced up with what a passport proving that you're juiced up. Or a legit or valid passport because they're going to be on the look for what for the fake ones, you know. I want to bring out this word, this word, but because I just had a dream. In the dream, I was in a, um, a shop and we was all queued up for these different things that they wanted so much. So, um, I, I was in the shop. I just wanted something as a as polori. Polori is like a East Indian delicacy that they use a tambra that they eat with a tambra and chutney. I had little flower balls that you fry in oil and you eat with a tambra and chutney. Or a mango chutney. And I walked into this this the store, it was like a corner store, a little corner shop, and I asked for polori and I was put in my place because there was long lines. There was like three long lines. Three long lines. Three long queues outside of the store. And even though it wasn't looking like that inside of the store. You know, I just thought people were just standing up in their own place. Just like hanging around. Is that the lines extended outside. And a matter of fact, somebody asked me for... Um, I, saw, I saw a guy that I ministered to. In, 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 in the world out here that grew up with me. And... You know, he refused the word and he was actually, after that, this happened in real life, yeah, after that, he yeah, was shot 20-something times. And, but he's still alive. You know, that's like our local 50 cents. But when I pull up to the shop, he was like, um, let me have $2 to so go and buy something. All right? And I, uh, or he would let me borrow, and I gave him it, a matter of fact. But when I went inside now to get what I wanted, I walked past everybody thinking that everybody was just like hanging around. And I was put into my place when I was inside. When they said, um, the line for Polori starts outside. I said, all this for the Polori. And uh, the shopkeep or the person who's cashing. You know, she said, um, you want what you want? I said, well, I wanted the Polori. She said, well, here was the position. She said, um, why do you pay a thousand dollars and get one time? And then everybody was arguing, ah, because you know, apparently in her eyes, I look rich, <laughs> but um, nevertheless, everybody was arguing because I would have um, gotten through before everybody else. I was like, a thousand dollars for a little pulhori? Nah, like, no, but nevertheless, it wasn't. I was, um, it was not to say that I didn't have it, it's just that I wasn't gonna pay it. But everybody else was agitated and volatile. 
But while waiting in or lining up in in the respective queue, I, it was discussion among Jake and Jake said, "Excuse me, sir, can I ask you a question?" And I was there. Sure, go ahead. Uh, what if when you when when you die and go to heaven? I said, "What?" As a matter of fact, he said, "What color is the Lord?" I said, "The Lord is the Lord is dark skin or black." No, I said black. I think either black or dark skin. I said, I said. Uh, he said yes, yes, yes. So the discussion started up amongst the patrons in in the place. And then he said, "But," I said, "There ain't no but." I said, "There ain't no but." I don't even continue. There is no but. And with that, I jump out of the dream. And decided to do this lesson immediately. All right, so the word but, we use but as an alternative to, except for, apart from, and bar to, introduce the only thing or person that the main part of the sentence does not include. It is often used after words such as everyone, nobody, anything, anywhere, all, no, none, and every, right? So, you would but use the alternative, use but as an alternative to except for. See, there's no exception. Right? There's no exception. Hebrews 13 and 8. Yahweh Shai Amashiach. He same yesterday, today, and forever. There's no exception to that. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. So when you go back to the second Peter chapter 1, we have also a more sure word of prophecy, which we know Yahweh Shai is the word. Right? Yahweh Shai is the word. He said, then said, I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. Right? Psalms 40 verse 7. This is seen John chapter 1. It started verse 1. In the beginning was the word. And the word, the word was with power. And the word was power. The same was in the beginning with power. All things were made by him. And without him was not anything made. In him was life, and life, and the life was the light of men. Right? And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Right? So in him was the light, and the light was the light of men. In him we have a more sure word of prophecy. On whereunto ye do well that ye take heed. As the unto light that shineth in a dark place. So you see, in him, in him was life, and the light, in him was life, and the life was light of men, and the light shined in darkness, and if darkness comprehended him not, right? There ain't no but light, lamp, candle that is placed on a sun or candlestick, light. Bright, brilliant form, whiteness, dazzling of garments of angels and of those exalted to the splendor of heavenly state, shining or white garments worn in a festive state or occasion. So like in the form of the army or the military or the police, they wear what? White tunics, right? For example, right? And though this white here, it represents our garments of righteousness towards Yahweh Bashem Shai. Right, as a sign of innocence and purity of soul, right? We're pure. This doctrine is pure, right? We believe in the pure, in the pure truth, and in nothing but the truth. Yahweh Shai is a, a dark skinned melanated man. There ain't no buts. This doctrine is is the truth, and there ain't no alternative to. You see, there's no alternative to. You see, except for 
and there's no alternative to for except for you all have been living the alternative to two thirds and he then you know the alternative this is what babylon represents or the alternative is the truth or is babylon is the truth or is or, or is confusion right so this is the alternative to or for you know and it is proven not to work you know the scripture says except for Yahweh except Yahweh Shai short in the days no flesh would be saved and we could see that this man is like he's going he's proceeding forward as a madman who man is speaking about Esau and Edom he's proceeding as a madman with his plans right it says dead white of the whitening color of right and green all right it says is a light that shineth in a dark place right again let me pull up it says we have also a more sure word of prophecy let's get that real quick this is revelations chapter what one and so that one 19 and 10 and i fell at his feet to worship him and he said unto me see thou do it not i am thy fellow servant <coughs> and of thy brethren that have the testimony of yahweh shai it says worship power for the testimony of yahweh shai is the spirit of prophecy right it is the spirit of prophecy right it says we have a more sure word of prophecy so we have a short word of Yahweh Shai prophecy in the Greek proof articles proceeding from a prophet a prophetic in the Greek writings an interpreter of the oracles of of other hidden things one who moved by the spirit of power and hence his organ or spokesman spokesman Salami declares to men what he has received by inspiration especially concerning future events and in particular such as uh, relate to the cause and the kingdom of power and to human salvation right the old testament prophets having foretold for told the kingdom deeds and the death of amashiach yahweh shai right um, there's plenty i can't read out all of that Right? A foreteller, a prophet, strong definition, by analogy, an inspired speaker, by extension, a poet, a prophet. Right? So the inspired means with breath. Right? The Lord came and he gave us on he breathed into the um the, the twelve disciples, then two into twelve apostles, the breath of life, the Holy Spirit, the Harakadash. Right? So that's the breath. So again. We have also a more sure word of prophecy where unto ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn and on and the day star which is the spirit of Yahweh Shai arise in your heart. Revelations <clears throat> chapter 1 and verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, right? Remember, they talk about the, the light, and the light was what well, you don't put a can. You, you put a candle on a candlestick. Now, the candlesticks represents the seven churches of Asia Minor, right? Which are these camps out here today. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with the garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. Right, so you will say what the Son of Man represents Yahweh Shai clothed with a garment which is his righteousness down to his foot, right? But he also had a physical garment and girt about the paps with a golden girdle or another way for girdle is belt, right? His head and his hairs were white like wool, right? As white as snow, and his eyes were as what a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass as if they did burn in a furnace and his voice as the song of many waters right and his feet like unto fine brass as if it did burn in a furnace 
and his voice that come to the sound of many waters. And in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth a sharp to and sword, and his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. So, Yahweh Shai, right, his feet was as burnt as, as burnt or fine brass as burnt in a furnace. So he was melanated. So there is no but. There is no but. There is no except for. The except for is that is what the image of 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 GC that you have today, right? That is the except for. But the truth is that he is what a validated man. And then what what they do to justify themselves, they say what the Lord has no color. <laughs> we we'll get into that as well. This is um. Second Peter one and nineteen. We have also a more sure, sure. It means stable. So it's like a G949. Beb Ayos. Beb Ayos. To be stable, fast, firm, metaphor, metaphorically sure, trusty. Strong definition from the base to the idea of basality, basality stable, firm, or, um, or force, steadfast, and sure. I don't know the meaning of this word. Yeah. Related to act or forming the base. Right? Essential for maintaining the fundamental vital activities of an organism as respiratory heartbeat or excretion as a Pascal diet. Right? So Pascal means basic. Right, more or less. A step and walk in that which one steps. Right? This is Malachi chapter 3 verse 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Right, he changed not to repeat, to do again, to change, to alter, to change, to be repeated, to change, to alter, to disguise oneself. Right, he said, What he changed not, therefore, his sons. Right, so change not, therefore, his sons. Right, so the Lord don't change, he doesn't change. Right, and I said, The alternative would be. Leviticus chapter nineteen, chapter thirteen, verse two, it says, "When a man shall have in a skin of his flesh a scar or a bright spot, and it shall it shall be like, um, a matter of fact, I'll have to look it look it up back and forth." When a man shall have his in the skin of his flesh arising, a scab or a bright spot, a scab, a lesion, a bright spot, white patch of skin, brightness, bright spot, skin, bright spot, scar, blister resulting from fire, resulting from inflammation, or skin of possible sign of leprosy. Right? So the leprosy is, divide, is defined in the scriptures. See, that's the image when they uh, when they put in Jesus, right? And it be skin of the flesh like the plague of leprosy. Then shall he be brought unto Aaron, Aaron the priest, or one of his sons, the priest, right? So it's a plague of leprosy, right?
and it's unclean but the so-called white man is a clean leper because it's not contagious right now these are all scriptures on leprosy and the plague of leprosy right we can go down to numbers Where's my numbers There's leprosy of the hair as well. Right? There's leprosy of the hair and there's leprosy of the skin. But I think the point is made. Right? The Lord, he changed not. Therefore, his the sons of Jacob are not going to be consumed. So, the Lord said what? John 8 32 and he shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free right what's the truth that our Lord and his father is is is, is what melanated men right there says um Saint John 14 and I sat and eat Philip said unto him Lord show us the father and it sufficeth us Yahweh Shai said unto him have I been so long time with you and yet has thou not known me, Philip? He he had he that had seen me, had seen the Father, and how sayest thou? Then show us the Father. Believest thou not that I am, in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me. He doeth the works. Right, so the Lord said, "What? When you see the Father, you see me. So there's, you know, there's no difference between the Father and Son." And in ten and five, then I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man, clothed in linen whose loins was girded with fine gold of Euphrates, His body also was like the burial, which means it shine, right? And his face as the appearance of lightning, and his eyes as lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet like, like in the color of polished brass, and his voice of, the, of his words like unto the voice of the multitude. All right? So that the, the point is made, Yahweh Bashem Shai, which is the Heavenly Father and the Son, they are both, right? They are both dark skinned men, right? Or melanated men, right? And he's coming to, to what? He's coming to reap his vengeance upon Esau and Edom and these nations. All right, he's coming with a shout and the last trump. When these missiles go off, he shall appear. Sorry, when he's when when these missiles are about to go off, he shall appear to deliver his his woman, which is the elect. Shalom.